A great new feature in GameMaker Studio 2.3 is that you can now handle all errors manually. So you can catch your errors and show a custom message to the player. This is done using the exception unhandled handler function. This function takes another function as the only argument and that function is called whenever there is an error. You get one argument in this function and that is a struct with all the information about the exception or the error. And according to the manual, this struct contains the following variables. There is a message variable with the error message. Then there is a long message with more information about the error. There is a script variable which basically tells where the error has occurred. And then there is an array called stack trace. This is basically a list of the scripts that were called and which resulted in this error. So back in my function, I'm simply gonna call show debug message and here print the exception struct. But to trigger this function, I first have to cause an error. So for that, I have an object here with a global left pressed mouse event. And here I'm trying to add a string to a number. So of course, that's gonna crash the game, which will send the exception to our function here. Now when I run the game and click, the game simply closes without showing any errors. And in the output log here, we have our exception struct. In this, we have the script that caused the error. So that's the mouse event in object one. Then we have the line number in that script where the error is. Then we have the track trace array. So again, this is basically a list of the scripts that were run for this error to occur. And then here we have the error message. So this is only a short message telling you what kind of error this is. And then we also have the long message. So this is our classic error message with the event, object, error type, and the line itself. And that's all there is in this struct. Now what I like to do is I show a custom message using the show message function. So I can say something like, sorry, the game has crashed. And now this will be shown whenever a crash occurs. So you now have a custom crash message. And when you press OK, the game simply closes. If you want, you can also add the error message after your custom message. Make sure to add new lines here. And now when the game crashes, you'll know what the error was. Or you could also use the long message so it shows the whole error. Now I really like to use this feature with Sentry. This is a website where you can log your errors. So whenever your game crashes, you actually get the error here. There's a free marketplace asset called GM Sentry. And this can be used to log your errors into your Sentry project. So I simply run the Sentry capture exception function and pass in the long message. So this way my errors get logged onto the website. Another thing you can do as shown in the manual is you can save your error info to a local file. And when the game starts again, you can read this file and do something with it. Check out my other videos on GMS 2.3 here. Also make sure to subscribe to catch my future videos and I'll see you in the next one.